engineer and today we've got a bit of a fusion video actually it's a bit of a nail tech type hack as well as a nails that rock and we're going to be doing these lovely um, sliced malachite sliced agate um, geode nails on Hannah um, and this is a picture that she sent me on Pinterest ages and ages ago that she like really really loved this effect but it's these nails that are like the star of the show and the original manicure was just like a bog standard kind of glit to fade with it and I'll explain as we go how it's a hack but basically what we've got here is we've got like a geode effect but what we've also got is marbling wet on wet technique over the top of it so that it kind of gives this kind of 3d effect and these would also look really really nice uh, matte in fact i think the originals were matte but we just felt for this look that we wanted to have both matte and shiny and not just like all one or the other so what we've got going on on this look um hannah is wearing mostly um, halo polish slate grey and we've got a fade on these fingers of Born Pretty Galaxy Hollow Flakes which is stock ID 39677 and if I just take my top off for you <laughs> you can see OMG look at those and um, we thought it'd be interesting to see what happens when you put matte on them and I think the answer is everyone has a nailgasm and their pupils dilate until they go blind temporarily so um, these have just been patted on and faded up the nail and then a coat of best matte top coat ever miss you just on the top so I'll talk you through how we do this We've got both hands have been done now and you can see there's a few little cheeky galaxy flakes in there. Both hands have been done now except for this finger and this is where it becomes a nail text hack. So before I get too much into the hack, I'm just going to um, run you through what we've got on the um, on the kind of like marbled sliced, um, sliced malachite, sliced agate. Um, we've got four colours. Again, we've got this one here, which is the Halo Polish Slate Grey. This one here is holographic, which I thought would tie in nicely with the um, Galaxy Hollow Flakes. And that's Colour Club Blue Heaven. And that's from their um, Duo Packs, which comes with like a gel and a regular nail polish as well. Um, we have got Madame Glam Splendid, which is the grey, and we've got Gel Bottle Ink Daisy, which is like a super nice opaque white, and I just put a little blob of these. It's actually just on the back of the wax paper that you get a nail form on for sculpting, and for those, for the application of those, I should say, I shall just be using this brush and this thin detail brush nothing too fancy just bog standard and i'll be wiping off in between colors onto this um lint free um it's actually a waxing strip um, and the secret of application for this what makes it kind of like bleed out a bit like charm technique is the fact that you apply it onto wet base coat and this is your wet on wet and I'm just using Madame Glam base coat. So now let's get into the hack part. So this is Hannah's last money and I'll include a picture. So on her last money she had grey nails because she does like her grey and she had two glitter nails which are basically a base of charcoal grey charcoal grey halo polish with magpie angel glitter over the top encapsulated with gel bottle ink um, clear gel pot and you can see here we've got some wicked regrowth this is three weeks on and this is where it becomes a hack so obviously we've got a short nail here so we can't get the full effect of the original 
but you'll have noticed that there was like a kind of negative space area near the cuticle on the original which is like kind of nude nail and that makes it perfect for when your lady has had like full on glitter nails with gel quite often you have to get pretty much all of that off depending on what you're going over with but if you can plan a mani in advance you can do this kind of thing when your lady's had some um, some glitter nails you can do this look on the next mani and you basically take an advantage of this regrowth and what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of like buff back the surface and just basically kind of refine that down as much as you can and then i'm going to be taking some additional off using the cuticle bit on my e-file just to get a little bit extra backfilling that with nude builder and then going on with the design so at this point it's time to stop waffling speed it up and you could just watch me work
completing that nail and curing Hannah in the lamp, I just top coated her. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of a catastrophe with <laughs> this finger where we managed to get, like without noticing it, a little blob of polish on the end. So I've actually had to buff that back and I'll be re top coating this, but I thought I would just leave it as is so that you could see what this look would look like if we did indeed um, do it matte like it was in the original Manny. So it does look really cute, but I don't know, it just seems to have a bit more dimension when it's shiny. Like, I don't know if you can see, but certainly with my naked eye, I can see that there's a flake here that's like almost casting a shadow on the underlying glitter. And they're so like kind of multi-dimensional to look at in person. So not only is it a really, really pretty look, but you can turn it to your advantage if you're an L tech, use it as a hack for when you're doing your glitter infill and Bob's your uncle. So I hope that you enjoyed this, that you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.